Hey y'all, this is Jared with Lutie Lake Homestead, and it's a nasty rainy day today, and I'm spending a little time in my shop around the fire, and uh, I thought today would be a good day to work on some axes I've got, so we're going to try to put a couple handles in today, and I uh, may try to get one of these broad axes fixed, so let's get busy. Okay, here's the first culprit. This is our uh, one of my broad axes that I bought at a little thrift store once, and this is a pretty good shape. The edge is in really nice shape. There's no nicks in it or anything. There's just a little pitting on the body itself. And uh, all in all, it's in good shape. It can be cleaned up good and has a lot of uh, good steel left in the tip here. You can see the forge marks right here. And uh, really heavy metal. And uh, I had a handle in this once and the wood wasn't very well. And I uh, tried it out and I broke it. So we're going to drill this old wood out, and then I have a piece of oak here that my buddy Jordan gave me a long time ago. We made some cane bottom chairs with it, and uh, it has a natural crook to it. And a broad axe, you want a crook in the handle so when you're hewing, you don't bust your knuckles on the log. So we're going to, instead of me uh, heating this and bending it, we're going to try to use this natural crook to make the handle. That way, uh, when I get done, it's ready to go. I don't have to uh, put it in a jig or anything and let it sit. So we're going to try to shape this into a handle. And uh, hopefully it'll work out well. I've had this piece down there in my other building for probably five years. So it should be a good season now. So uh, I'm going to put this uh, probably in the vise and uh, try to get her shaped up.
okay, I got my handle roughed in pretty good, and uh, I end up uh, cutting back about another inch and a half on it, and uh, making it a little more level. So that way, uh, I would have just a higher more pitch. And then now I've got a little bit of meat right here that needs to come off, and up in here, and then uh, once I do a little more draw knife work, then we will uh, probably put the head on it and put it on the sander and finish it up with the sander. And then I'm going to have to need to cut my groove right here, and then uh, I'll make me a winch put in it when I get it finished. And then uh, we should have a pretty good handle here. you can see I've got a couple inches of clearance there and with the head sitting level so uh, that'll keep you from busting your knuckles on a log when you're hewing and uh, turned out pretty good I think it's uh, just being an old piece of wood I've had laying around I got her sanding nice and smooth and uh, I'll put me some uh, probably I got some tongue oil or linseed oil I think on it I'll get that on there one day and uh, I just took another piece of oak and made me a wedge. Um, if it'll focus, you can kind of see my wedge in there. Then I took a sander 
and I centered it to the shape of the X head. Now I need to uh, get this baby cleaned up. And uh, if y'all have any suggestions of what I should use to clean this, I was thinking get me a real fine wire brush on a drill and try that and see how it goes. So appreciate y'all watching, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And hope y'all have a very blessed day.